how to use Reddit to grow your OnlyFans account. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be going over how you can use Reddit to promote and grow your OnlyFans or fans late business. This video is for educational purposes so you can really understand how to use these social platforms to your benefit. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below. I have so much content coming on how you can make money online and grow your social platforms. And if you are interested in any of my services, I have Twitter management services, I have promotional services, is to get you guaranteed fans to your site, then just again, reach out to me on Instagram. The direct link for that will be in the video description down below. So first things first with Reddit, and I say this to all of my Reddit clients, especially if you do not have an account yet. With Reddit, they do not just allow anybody to open up account and then just go full throttle onto the platform. With Reddit, they have a two-step system that will make you qualified to really be able to be an active user on their platform. So with that being said, what I always tell my clients or people that even just reach out to me thinking about my services that do not have a Reddit account open yet is to open up a Reddit account right now. Like literally as soon as this video is done, I want you to go open up a Reddit account because the age of your Reddit account matters when you want to start being an active member on the platform. Now, nowadays it's called your cake day back when it was, you know, I don't want to date myself, but back, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to date myself, but cake day is the new terms for it. And your cake day is basically the age of your account, which again matters when you are on the platform. The second thing that Reddit takes into consideration is what they call karma points. And how you can kind of think about this is if you go to, you know, one of your local coffee shops or Starbucks, right, and you accumulate points every time you buy something, it's the same thing with Reddit. So you accumulate points every time you are an active user on their site. But again, they still do not give you full access and reins to their site right away. So the first thing you are going to do is you are going to open up your account immediately, even if you are not ready to use it. The second thing you are going to do is you are going to start finding groups, which I will get into in just a little bit. So make sure you stay all the way until the end because Reddit is very involved. It's why so many people seek out my services because it is really involved. It's time consuming. But if you get it right, it is absolutely a game changer for your business and getting paying fans into your sites. Now, with that being said about you having to grow your karmas, okay, and kind of, you know, working your way into the platform, this is very important. Do not overdo yourself, okay? Do not go onto the platform and try to build up your karmas right away and do too much. Because if you do that, the platform will actually stop you and you will get like a little error message like, whoa, you're doing too much, you know, calm down. If you get those messages, you are putting yourself at risk to be shadow banned. And let me tell you something, a shadow ban is something that you will not know that you have on your account. You will just be posting and thinking no one likes your content. Your account won't get shut down. You won't get a suspension email. You won't get anything. You literally will just be dead in the water in a sense. So make sure that when you are starting out, you are just a little bit each and every day. You aren't going onto the platform and spamming the entire platform because you will get shadow banned. Your bio, you are allowed to link your direct OnlyFans, your direct Fansly. So I'm not going to really go into that too much because I I feel like that is just very, um, you know, kind of universal on what you should do with your bio. Just keep it cute, catchy, and very enticing, and then just put your links, 
Your profile picture, you always want to make sure is of good quality. At this day and age, we all kind of know what is good content, but make sure you have good lighting on the, um, you know, the picture and it's just visible and centered. So I don't really want to go too deep into that. Another very big piece of advice when you are creating that account is you can never change your at username once you have selected it. Okay. Your display name, you can change that as much as you want. But your at and your actual username, once it is set up, you could never change it. So please make sure you pick something that is going to kind of work for you throughout the lifespan of you using Reddit. Because on one of my accounts from a very long time ago, I had picked a username that really wasn't helpful for me years down the road when I wanted to try to use that account for something else. And the reason I wanted to use that account specifically is because again, that cake day or your karma, your account age plays a role in how much of free reigns you can have on the platform. So I obviously wanted to use that account to my advantage. And the username was just kind of not what I wanted it to be. I still use the account, but just something to take in mind. So you know that once you set that username, you cannot change it. Finding communities and rooms on Reddit. So the way that Reddit works outside of the karma and cake day is on the platform. The way that you can kind of think about this is that there is specific communities for millions of different niches. Like there is literally millions of rooms and communities and those communities are on a specific topic or a specific niche. And how that helps us is basically if we are just starting out or even if we're not starting out, but our niche, there is a community that has 1 million group members in that room and community. We can now get ourselves in front of their audience by joining their communities and posting in their rooms. Now, please keep in mind, every community has their own rules. Okay. So this is where what I was saying before that your karmas and your cake day or your, the age of your account plays a very big role. So a lot of these communities will not let you post if you do not have at least a thousand to 2000 karmas. And if you have not been on the platform for at least 90 days. Now don't, get upset or think that this is not going to be doable for you. There is still countless of other communities and rooms that do not have those kind of strict requirements, but you need to make sure that you are reading each community rules before you start trying to post in them. Because if you do not do that, you will get banned from these groups and these rooms. And if it's a group that is really, it's a room, excuse me, that is of a high member number and value and you see that their engagement rate is amazing, you do not want to burn those bridges, okay? So you have to make sure that when you are going to search for these communities and join these communities, you have to read their rules to make sure that you are eligible to post. Also, a lot of these communities will not let you post your links. They will not let you post um, you know, specific captions or pictures, or sometimes they only want pictures, they won't allow videos. So you have to make sure that you are reading all of the rules. Now to take this a step further, how would you find these communities? So I personally love the search, um, you know, options, I guess you would say on Reddit, super easy to find. So you just go into the search bar and you will enter in your niche. Okay. So you can first start out with OnlyFans because a lot of OnlyFans communities, they all know that, you know, all the models are just starting out. So they don't have that many strict rules. So I do recommend starting there. But once you just put into the search bar communities, 
you will literally get an entire drop down of all of the communities that you can join. And then once you go into these communities, they actually will recommend other ones. So once you really get good with just searching and, you know, honing down on what your niche is, it is super easy. Now to take this a step further, let's say your demographics is that you are Latina or you are a brunette. You can now put that also into the search bar of Reddit, and that will then give you even more niched down communities that will help you grow and find people and an audience that are really particular to you. A very big important tip, and it is something that you have to keep in mind because again, Reddit is very, very strict. Once you now start getting into your flow on Reddit, you are going to be getting DMs and a lot of them. The biggest thing with DMs on Reddit, the entire platform is monitored and even our DMs are monitored. So for you have to really make sure that you are not detected as spammy because again, we do not want bans or shadow bans because you will not be able, especially a ban, to ever get back onto the platform. They are very strict with bans, okay? A shadow ban, I do help my clients be able to lift it off of their account after many years of doing this, we know how, but for a ban, you will literally never be able to get onto the platform. So in your DMs and even with comments, you cannot copy and paste the same reply. So I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, comment down below, or you can reach out to me on Instagram. I literally answer everybody. Until next time, guys.